today I'm gonna be playing around with my drill and my action camera, and we're gonna have some fun with it. So I'm gonna show you guys how I took this drill in a DJI Osmo action and created a super fun and easy effect that you guys can try at home. So to make this work, you're gonna need a small camera like the DJI Osmo action. I decided to go with this camera because of its size and the quality that it produces. It also has a screen on the front and the back, so you have the option to switch between the two anytime you want. So this is extremely helpful if you wanna make sure that you are properly framed in the shot. So I'm gonna put a soft microfiber cloth in between the drill and camera. I just don't wanna scratch the back screen. And I highly suggest that you guys do that as well. I'm also going to be using Gorilla Tape which is really strong industrial tape. I don't suggest just using any type of masking tape. Make sure it's something tough and strong like the Gorilla Tape. Once you have that taped on, try to position the camera lens so that it's right in front of the drill hole. It'll just make it a lot smoother. And guys, please be careful when trying this. So do this at your own risk. If you don't properly tape the camera down, there is a good chance that it can spin out of control and damage your camera or even worse, you getting hurt. I actually suggest not pressing the trigger all the way down. About a halfway down does the job. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna hold onto the camera, click on the trigger, and quickly move my hand out of the way while it's spinning. Are you ready? Can I just be grumpy? Three, two, no, no. one. Okay, ready? Three, two, one. And now that we're done with that first shot, we're gonna do the exact same thing with the second shot, but just in a different location. Three, two, one. So now I'm gonna show you guys how I easily edited this in Final Cut Pro 10. But you can use any type of program, all the steps are pretty similar. So editing this will be very easy. Place the first clip in the project timeline. Place the second clip beside it. Now find the part where you want it to start on the first clip and trim off the rest. Also trim it off right after it starts to spin. For the second clip, Highlight it and hit reverse under the retiming options tab. Now trim off the beginning, however long you want the spinning portion to last. Then trim it off where you want it to end as well. I made both clips about a second long in total. I wanted a fast transition effect, but definitely play around with the length though if needed. Add the cross dissolve transition in between the clips to make the spin even smoother. Next highlight both clips, right click and create a compound clip. Copy by pressing Command and C, and then paste it with Command plus V beside the first clip. Highlight the second clip and click on Reverse. Copy and paste these two clips as many times as you want to make an endless looping boomerang. Since your action camera will most likely record the sound of the drill spinning, you probably won't have to add in any sound effects. But of course get creative with it and add it in if you feel like it needs it. And special thanks to DJI for sponsoring this fun tutorial. So DJI sent me this camera about a couple of weeks ago and I've been trying to test out different ways to use it, especially being at home. The one feature that really stood out to me is the rock steady stabilization that is built in into the camera. So this just ensures that all your footage comes out smooth. So here it is with the rock steady stabilization and here it is without. As you can see, there is a huge difference between the two. Most of the time when I'm shooting with a camera, I like to have it mounted on a gimbal so that it comes out smooth. But with a DJI Osmo Action, you won't even need that. The only thing that I would probably suggest is putting it on a little mini tripod so that you have some type of handle. So I really tested out that feature in my last video since I shot most of the clips handheld. Make sure to check out that video as well. I'll leave the link up here somewhere. It'll just give you a better idea of how powerful this little camera is. So if you guys are interested in learning more about the DJI Osmo Action, I've left the link in the description down below. It's my time and my prime, this the prime time. I'm pretty content.